Imagine standing on the edge of a new era, with one country charging ahead. Welcome to the thrilling world of digital currencies in China, a revolution that's brewing right under our noses. China, the global titan, is shaking up the financial world with its fresh take on digital currencies. The Electronic China Yuan, or ECNY, is the fruit of a six-year labor of love by the People's Bank of China. This came hot on the heels of a 2021 crackdown on private cryptocurrency trading and mining. But this digital currency isn't just a fancy piece of tech. It's a symbol of China's dream for a future where money moves like a breeze, efficiently and securely. The rise of digital currencies in China is a tale of innovation, ambition, and the relentless quest for a smoother financial system. But it's not just about the tech. It's about the people who use it, the government that keeps an eye on it, and the ripple effect it could have worldwide. In this video, we're going to take a deep dive into the captivating world of digital currencies in China. We'll trace its history, gauge its impact on the economy, and speculate about its future potential. We'll pick the brains of experts, dissect case studies, and look at the global consequences of this digital upheaval. So strap in and get ready for a wild ride into the heart of China's digital currency revolution. The future is knocking on our door, and it's digital. The saga of digital currencies is a roller coaster that weaves together technology, economics, and human society. It's a story that sprouted in the early days of the internet, where the first hints of this revolution began to emerge. The birth of public key cryptography and digital signatures set the stage for the creation of digital currencies. These tech breakthroughs provided the much-needed security and trust mechanisms, clearing the path for a new breed of money that lives solely in the digital world. The journey hit a significant milestone with the creation of Bitcoin, the world's first cryptocurrency, in 2009. Bitcoin brought to the table the idea of a decentralized, peer-to-peer -peer digital currency that operates without a central authority. This was a game-changer that set the world abuzz about digital currencies. Hot on Bitcoin's heels, a bunch of other cryptocurrencies, such as Ethereum and Ripple, burst onto the scene, each adding their own unique features and capabilities. These digital currencies, also known as altcoins, broadened the digital currency ecosystem and showcased the versatility and potential of this new breed of money. In recent times, we've seen the emergence of stablecoins like Libra, which aim to tackle the volatility issues that plague many cryptocurrencies. Stablecoins are digital currencies that are tied to a stable asset, like a specific amount of a physical commodity or a fiat currency. Another exciting chapter in the digital currency saga is the rise of central bank digital currencies. As of 2023, 10 countries have taken the plunge and fully launched a digital currency. CBDCs, like the Bahamian Sand Dollar or the Digital Canadian Dollar, are turning a new page in the evolution of money. They blend the convenience and security of digital currencies with the stability and trust we associate with fiat currencies issued by a country's central bank. The ascent of digital currencies in China is a riveting tale of innovation, ambition, and strategic vision. The journey kicked off in 2014, when China set out on a mission to develop a digital currency. This venture, led by the People's Bank of China, aimed to create a digital twin of the renminbi, also known as the Digital Yuan, or ECNY. The Digital Yuan is a central bank digital currency, a fresh breed of currency that mixes the convenience and security of digital currencies with the stability and trust we associate with traditional fiat currencies. Unlike cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin or Ethereum, which operate on decentralized networks, the digital yuan is issued and regulated by the PBOC, making it a legal tender. The creation of the digital yuan has been a careful and strategic project. The PBOC has carried out extensive research and testing to ensure the digital yuan's efficiency, security, and reliability. Since 2020, the digital yuan has been put through its paces in several Chinese cities, marking significant strides towards a national rollout. The digital yuan opens up a world of possibilities for managing China's massive and delicate financial system, as well as opportunities for economic influence abroad. 
It offers a faster, cheaper, and theoretically more secure method for conducting transactions than conventional methods such as e-payments or e-banking. However, the digital yuan also raises cybersecurity concerns related to data protection, espionage, and financial stability. Despite these efforts, less than a fifth of the Chinese population have taken the digital yuan for a spin as of today. However, the Chinese government continues to push the envelope in integrating the digital yuan within its domestic financial system. Unlike cryptocurrencies, such as Bitcoin, which operate on decentralized networks, the digital yuan is under the watchful eye of the People's Bank of China. This central control allows the Chinese government to manage the risks associated with digital currencies and ensure their stability. The Chinese government has also set up legal standards for the issuance, technology, security, and other processes involved in the transactions of the digital currency. These standards aim to give the digital currency a legal status and regulate the testing indexes of related systems and products. Despite these regulatory efforts, the Chinese government continues to face challenges in promoting the adoption of the digital yuan. As of June 2023, as I just mentioned, less than a fifth of the Chinese population have taken the digital yuan out for a spin. However, the Chinese government continues to push the envelope in integrating the digital yuan within its domestic financial system. The digital yuan, or ECNY, is more than just a new form of currency. It's a tool that the Chinese government is using to expand state control and strategically position China to influence the global financial system. The ECNY network has expanded over the last 12 months, and China's goals have become clearer. Domestically, the People's Bank of China is still in test and learn mode, prioritizing experimentation over adoption. Despite its persistent low adoption rates, the ECNY is by far the largest CBDC pilot in the world by both the amount of currency in circulation, 13.61 billion RMB, and the number of users, 260 million wallets. As the pilot regions have expanded to 25 cities, so have the real-world use cases tested through the pilots. The ECNY is being used for a variety of economic activities, including public transportation, public health checkpoints, integrated identification cards to receive and pay utilities such as retirement benefits and school tuition payments, as well as tax payments and refunds. The pilots have also begun testing technical and programmability functions like smart contracts for B2B and B2C functions, e-commerce, and credit provision. The impact of the digital yuan on China's economy extends beyond its borders. As the first major economy to launch a CBDC, China is setting a precedent that could influence the development of digital currencies around the world. This could potentially reshape the global financial system and redefine the dynamics of international trade. The public perception and adoption of digital currencies in China is a complex and evolving landscape. Despite the Chinese government's aggressive push for the adoption of the digital yuan, also known as ECNY, the response from the public has been mixed. The digital yuan was introduced with the aim of centralizing a payment system dominated by tech giants like Alibaba and Tencent. However, Almost three years into this, the government is still scratching its head to find compelling applications for it. Despite these challenges, the ECNY network has expanded over the last 12 months, and the PBOC has tested real-world use cases in 25 cities. The public's perception of digital currencies is influenced by a variety of factors, including the perceived benefits and risks, the ease of use, and the level of trust in the government and the technology. While some see digital currencies as a convenient and efficient way to conduct transactions, others are concerned about issues such as privacy and financial stability. Let's now delve into some case studies to better understand things. One of the most significant milestones in the journey of digital currencies in China was the Beijing Olympics in 2022, where China's central bank digital currency, the ECNY, debuted in front of an international audience. This marked a significant step in China's digital currency journey, 
showcasing the potential of the ECNY to a global audience. Another noteworthy case study is the city of Changshu, in the province of Jiangsu. In May 2023, Changshu became the first city in China to fully pay its public sector workers in digital yuan. This marked a significant push to popularize the currency and demonstrated the government's commitment to the digital yuan. The Agricultural Bank of China, one of the eight current authorized arbiters of the ECNY app, has established an enterprise cloud platform for supply chain management using the ECNY's network. This is a prime example of how digital currencies are being integrated into business operations, providing a more efficient and secure way to manage supply chains. In the e-commerce sector, the digital yuan can be used for express payments on the Daobao, Eli.me, Freshipo, and Tmall e-commerce sites operated by Alibaba Holding Group. This demonstrates the potential of digital currencies to streamline online transactions and enhance the e-commerce experience. The future of digital currencies in China is a hot topic that's got everyone talking. As the world's second largest economy, China's approach to digital currencies could send ripples across the globe. Looking ahead, it's expected that the national rollout of the digital yuan could pick up steam in 2023. The initial deployment of China's digital currency has spurred the development of a handful of payment platforms around the world, some of which are linked to the PBOC. This suggests that China is less focused on internationalizing the RMB than it is on setting technical and regulatory standards that will define how other countries' central bank digital currencies will work going forward. Moreover, China's digital yuan has the potential to weaken the ability of the United States to retain trading partners, enforce sanctions, and monitor financial flows. With each year that China pilots its digital currency and the United States does not, Beijing becomes better positioned to dictate the norms and regulations of this new technology, and Washington becomes a weaker competitor. The global impact of China's digital currency, the ECNY, is a topic of intense interest and speculation. As the world's second largest economy, China's approach to digital currencies could have far-reaching implications. The initial deployment of China's digital currency has spurred the development of a handful of payment platforms around the world, some of which are linked to the People's Bank of China. This suggests that China is less focused on internationalizing the RMB than it is on setting technical and regulatory standards that will define how other countries' central bank digital currencies will work going forward. Chinese academics say the digital currency will accelerate globalization of the yuan because of its advantages in cross-border payments. As we conclude our journey into the world of digital currencies in China, it's clear that we are witnessing a revolution in the making. The rise of the digital yuan, or ECNY, marks a significant shift in the global financial landscape. From its inception to its current state, the digital yuan has been a testament to China's vision for a future where financial transactions are seamless, efficient, and secure. Despite the challenges, the Chinese government continues to push forward, testing new use cases and expanding the ECNY network. The impact of the digital yuan extends beyond China's borders. As the first major economy to launch a central bank digital currency, China is setting a precedent that could influence the development of digital currencies around the world. As we wrap up this video, hopefully you've gained a deeper understanding of the rise of digital currencies in China. But remember, this is a story that's still unfolding. Each day brings new developments, challenges, and opportunities. And remember, you're not just a passive observer in this journey, you're a part of it. Your questions, thoughts, and insights can help shape the future of digital currencies. So, don't hesitate to share them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.